It has been quite a week for Miss Ohio USA, Audrey Bolsey, who grew up right here in Batavia, and she's with us now. Thanks for coming in. Thanks for having me. You know, I don't think people realize what's involved when you go to a huge competition like Miss USA. You are, by the time you get to the show, are you fairly exhausted? Well, by the time you get there, you feel you're, I don't think you're exhausted. I think you're excited. I think that your motivation that you have inside of you and everything else is just, you're so ready to go and you're like, this is it. This is the big time. And, and I got to say, excited. kudos to you. You made it to the top five. Yes. And in that top five, and I know a lot of you have heard about quite a lot about this, you were asked a question. Yes. Um, so let's go ahead and listen to that because we want to talk about it. And then some movies that put them in a little bit more of a negative role, but by the end of the movie, they show that woman power that I know we all have, such as movie Pretty Woman. We had a wonderful, beautiful woman, Julia Roberts, and she was having a rough time. But you know what? She came out on top, and she didn't let anybody stay in her path. Okay, so the question was, you know, about strength of women in movies, and you mm -hmm. mentioned Pretty Woman. And yes. I, as I understand that, because I watched the Jimmy Kimmel interview, you had just watched Pretty Woman. Yes, absolutely. I just watched it a few days previous on our day so off. So it's in your head. Yeah, it was fresh in my mind. Absolutely. Okay, as someone who does a lot of television, does a lot of talking television, there are moments when I go, okay, maybe that wasn't exactly the way I wanted to say it. Do you, I know you say you don't regret at all your answer, do you? No, I'm going to stay very confident in my answer. I feel that my answer was appropriate for the question that was given. It shows women inaccurately and accurately in both a positive and a negative light. In the beginning of the movie, it's more negative, but then by the end of the movie, she becomes this well-rounded, better woman, and she gets an education. She actually kind of saves Richard Gere at the end of the movie from himself. <laughs> it, you know what? I, you've had to have a lot of humor about this, haven't you, over the last few days? What's it been like? Well, at first I was a little shocked and I was a little hurt by the media taking my words out of context, but that's the media, right? It's a classic example. And now, you know, I think it's a little funny about how they've made this a big hoop la la, but I'm just going to roll with the punches and I'm not going to let them get me down. Well, you know what? You've gotten more attention, I think, than the actual winner. You came in uh, second runner-up, which is third, which is incredible. Yes. I will say that we did hear rumors that you were you should have won, but that that question might have hurt you. Do you think it hurt you? You know what? I've heard those rumors too, and I don't think it did at all. I think there's way more than just the final question that comes into play. Yes, the final question is important, but there are so many other phases of the competition that come into play too. You have the whole entire weeks leading up to Miss USA. You have how you're acting and how you're handling yourself at Miss USA. You also have the judge's opinions from your evening gown and your bikini and your final look as well. There's just so many aspects and it's the judge's opinion that matters at the end. And I do want to say, you have a, you majored in business administration, yes. St. Andrews College down in North Carolina. Yes. You also have a minor and that's in equine studies. You're not an unintelligent woman. Absolutely what, after not. After you're done with Miss Ohio 2012, because you have that rain. Yes. What are you going to do? Well, you know, to get ready for Miss USA, I had to get in some pretty killer shape. Yeah, you did. And, so and you are in some pretty killer <laughs> shape. And all the guys around here are pretty okay with that. Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> well, I would like to pursue my modeling career, maybe acting, and I would like to combine my minor of equine maybe with journalism and do some sideline broadcasting for the sport, maybe side ring broadcasting. Okay. So NBC. Olympics. There you go. Why not? Me. Pay attention. Or I'd like to pursue my business career as a businesswoman. I do want to ask one last thing. There's been Miss Pennsylvania quit, gave back her crown. She says it was rigged. Is it? No. She says Miss, uh, Miss USA is rigged. This is not rigged. Absolutely not. I don't think there's a possible way for this to be rigged because it's a judged, it's a live, live show on NBC with Miss Universe and with the Trump Organization and it's judged. They have celebrity judges, and it's a judge's opinion. They don't. They cannot control what the judges say or think or do. Do you want? To, do you think she should apologize? I'm going to let her handle herself however she chooses. I'm not going to put words in her mouth, and I wish her all the best because I had a wonderful experience at Miss USA. And if I could do it again next week, I totally would. I had a blast. Well, I think she could add maybe diplomat to something that she wants to do as well. You've done very well. We wish you all the luck, no matter Thank what you, you do. And uh, I know that this has gotten you a lot of attention. You have handled it quite well. Hopefully more positive. We hope so for you. <laughs> Absolutely. Thanks so much for being with us, and we wish you the best. Thank you.